Hey everyone, it's UFO Jane from TexasUFOs.com and The Weird UFO Show. If you enjoyed this video, please head over to YouTube and comment, like, and subscribe for more weekly UFO videos. For daily updates, check out TexasUFOs.com and follow on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So I was browsing old newspaper clippings online and I came across an old 1954 article where journalist Wally Trabing of the Santa Cruz Sentinel News recounts an interview with Truman Bethurum, a 55-year-old construction mechanic who encountered an alien race called the Clarion. Trabing described Bethurum as a straightforward, plain-speaking man. It was 1952 in October when Bethurum had his first contact. Now 1952 is also the year of the famed Washington, D.C. UFO incident, and this is also not long after Roswell, so in fact many flying saucers were being reported at the time. But Thurum was working as a night mechanic in the Nevada desert, of all places, near Glendale Junction. After working one night, he went out to the desert on a search for fossilized seashells, part of his wife's collection. However, he couldn't find any and got tired and fell asleep in his car. And now this is where things get really strange. Shortly before 4 a.m., he was woken up by mumbling sounds that he heard outside of his vehicle. Bethurum stepped out of the car and witnessed eight to ten men, about four feet eight inches tall, talking in an unknown language, and get this, dressed like greyhound bus drivers. There was also a classic flying saucer hovering several several feet above the ground nearby. Bethurum would later discover that the saucer was 300 feet in diameter and 40 yards deep. When the strange men realized he didn't understand their language, one of them said, you name it, we have no trouble with any language. It turns out the ET race were called the Clarion and they came from a planet on the far side of the moon. The location of the planet could not be explained to Bethurum, however, as the concept of time and distance was not relevant to its location. Bethurum was invited onto the ship and at that point he noticed a large crew who all had black hair and olive colored skin. The captain was a woman who looked to be about 28 but said she was a grandmother, so quite beautiful and ageless. The Claron race shared much with Bethurum over 11 encounters in all, including that Mars, this is a quote, was a great manufacturing planet with beautiful states and plenty of atmosphere. They also shared that the Clarion spaceships had solved the problem of magnetical force. It's another quote. The ETs confirmed that some UFO sightings were indeed their ships, and that these sightings were intended, and this type of ET presence was an educated matter. When Bethurum asked the beautiful female captain about their visitations on Earth, she replied, You will probably recall that no plane has ever been harmed. A few times we have slowed down to test your plane speed and to let the crew have their jokes, but most of the time we keep away. The Clarion talked in a sing-song language. For example, one quote, The things that trouble and worry you Earth people, in our homes you'll never find. We know nothing of illness, doctors, or nurses. You have mechanics and laborers, too. In our land, they only mean trouble. So you see, they are all taboo. Perhaps the Clarion were trying to talk to Bethurum in a way that would make sense to him on his level. Consider that English doesn't appear to be their first language. The captain said as well that they were very religious and believed in a supreme entity, that they were peaceful and would only attack people per se if they were being especially obnoxious. The way that they would attack people would be to disappear them. It's a very spooky, very Doctor Strange, magical, portal-ish. Um, but Thurum's boss, Whitey Edwards, is on the record of trying to accompany Beth Thurum on one of these ET meetings that was to be held at 3.30 a.m. in a cafe. And get this, Edwards, and he, he has a, apparently he signed a document stating this was true. Edwards and Beth Thurum both noticed the saucer people there. However, Edwards became frightened and went to wait outside. At that point, Bethurum tried to strike up a conversation with the saucer people, but they ignored him and left the building, and Edwards apparently didn't see them leave. Edwards, now interesting enough, ended up working at the Maroc Air Force Base after this event, which is now 
the Edwards Air Force Base. But Thurum claimed to endure a lot of ridicule and even lose his career over his outspokenness. However, he did go on to lecture about UFOs and author a book about his incredible encounters called Aboard a Flying Saucer, which you can go get on Amazon. Unfortunately, Beth Thurum passed in 1969 at the age of 70 in California, though I couldn't find an obituary online, so I'd like to pretend he left with the Clarions a long time ago. As always, guys, please comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Share your ideas on this case. Do you believe this uh, con late contactee's testimony, or was he just a great storyteller for daily UFO alien sightings and news, texasufos.com, and remember, you can follow on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks, guys.